In this section, we'll talk about conditional functions. Imagine you have some numbers here. The standard thing might be to say, let's add them up. So if I just use sum, that says add them up. There you are. What happens if one's blank? What happens if one's zero? It doesn't matter. There it is. It still adds them up. Another thing you can do is it's called sum if. It adds the cells if there's a condition. Okay, so now I might want to say count if or sum if it's greater than, let's say greater than zero. So let's see what we do. So here we have the range criteria. So let's go, there's my range of data, comma. Notice that I'm giving something, what's my criteria? So I probably want, let's say greater than zero. There we go. Notice that, here we go, if I hit the enter key, there it is. Now notice that these were all the same just because greater than zero. Let's say I say greater than 70. Let's change this, greater than 70. Now I have a different answer. So this is what's called a conditional function. Sum up this range only if they're greater than 70. Notice that it had a condition. Let's try another one. Let's try count. Count. Notice it doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase. When I start typing, Excel tries to figure out what I want. In this case, count has a lot of choices. Count is how many cells have a number or if they're not empty, okay, or if they're not, if they're in a specific range, counts only the empty. So I can count the empty or the not empty. I can count based on a condition. These are all conditions actually, if it's empty or not empty. So if is one condition, if some or if more than one condition has the S. Notice that some will have the same idea. So my type will equal some, I get a whole bunch of them. I get some, add them all up, some based on a condition, some based on several conditions, or I can have products of ranges. This is pretty complicated, but the idea is, let's try the count, I can have conditions. So if I do count if, I'm gonna count, here we go, and in this case, it doesn't matter any cells I use, I'm gonna put a comma, range, Criteria, so what's my criteria? I wanna count if they're greater than 70. Let's do that again. Notice I'm putting it in quotes. Sometimes it doesn't force you to do that. Sometimes it does. It's safer if you put it in quotes. The count of the numbers greater than 70 would be this one, this one, and this one in the range. Notice the range is F2 to F6. What's F2 to F6? I can tell you by making it yellow. There we go. It doesn't matter that this was a sum. What really matters, I told you, is just choose this range and look for the value. The fact that I'm now counting one of the cells that already had a sum in it is not important to Excel. Almost all of these functions, sum, count, and many others, have a conditional formatting type of function. The other things I can do, let's say I wanna do a function such as average, so I start typing, and there's your average. Or I can do average again. Here we go. There's the average if it's not blank. There's the average with a condition. Let's choose that one. And it said name. Why is that? Because I didn't type out. So every time you do that, it says, I don't know what the name of the function is. You have to double click. So. What's the range I want? Let's say I want to include, and again, it doesn't matter even if they've already had a function, I can do that. Or I can do numbers. What's the condition I want? Which cells do I want to pick? It's always which cells. So let's say greater than zero, because that makes sense. And, whoops, now I hit the enter key too soon. It says, do you want to put a quote here? No. So if you hit the enter key too soon, it's gonna give you all these errors. So you go back to this and you go, okay, forgot to put a quote in there. Now it likes it and it gives me an interesting answer. The average, of course, is not a whole number. It has a decimal. But notice that this works in the same way. 
count, average, and several other functions allow you to put in conditions.